Yes. All right, this trick derivative is a doozy. But a couple recognition skills. You see the secant, and it's a trig that inside the trig, there's not x inside, so that keys you to the chain rule, inside outside stuff. And also, so does that three. What I like to do is move that <coughs> to there. And then remember the chain rule is the derivative of the outside times the derivative of the inside. Don't forget y prime. So this is an outside, there's the three. So he comes down out front, comes a square. The inside stays the same. Now I'm just worried about the secant and the 4x squared. The secant's the outside. The derivative of the secant is secant times the tangent. <coughs> and whatever's the inside stays the same. You'll never change it unless you use your gold sheet for some reason. And now I have 4x squared. The derivative of that, 8x. And you're done. Huh? Where did the what come from? <coughs> the derivative of the secant. So on your blue sheet, you got the. See, yes, sir. Can you uh, take eight x times three? And you can make it twenty four x at the end. That's fine. Oh, like, I remember I used to do this for like eight x. I know that comes from the four x squared, but how do you know when to like stop? Like, there's one out. Okay. There's another one. There's another one. So you got a, three things you got to mess with. I got an out and an in, and then an out and an in. So you just kind of look where the parentheses are at. Now this guy. This one's a little bit of a doozy. But first, what do you notice you have to use? The quotient rule. What I like to do with something this complicated is treat it as one individual problem. So the u prime, I have to mess with that. The v prime, I mess with that. V prime is easy, isn't it? V prime is just 3. But u prime is a bit of a challenge. To take the derivative of x cosine x, that's the product rule. Two things multiplied together. So I have to take the derivative of x, which is 1 times the cosine of x, plus the derivative of the cosine, which is minus sine, times x. u prime v plus v prime u. So that takes care of that part. Now I've got to subtract the derivative of the sine of 2x. Well, remember that's kind of like that. So there's an inside to it. So I can do the derivative of the outside, which is the cosine of 2x, times the derivative of the inside, which is 2. <coughs> that's u prime, so that's v prime. They go into the formula. How's that sound? Sounds good. It's a mess. It's u prime v minus v prime u all over v squared. How's you guys can do the rest. <laughs>